Hello everyone and welcome back. I've got an old school Ipsic pistol to show you. It's an STI gun chambered in the 9x25 Dillon. Now if you're like me, you're probably asking yourself, what's 9x25 Dillon? I mean, I never heard of it. Uh, what it is, is, is it's an old school caliber that was, I believe, designed back in the mid to early 90s to compete in Ipsic in the open guns. Uh, back then, they wanted an uh, open gun with capacity that could reach the power factors that they had set, and the power factors bullet weight times velocity. And 38 Super is what we use today, but the power factor has been reduced a little bit, so it's easier to make the major power factor using a 38 Super. But back in these in the 90s, in the in the early 90s, they were having troubles with the 38 Super. They were exceeding the specs that was set forward by the 38 Super so you would get a lot of guns that were blowing up from these guys trying to make major with a 38 Super. You know 38 Super gives you the capacity that you want but it couldn't make major safely. So the the guys over at Dillon created the 9x25 Dillon. Now correct me if I'm wrong any of the old timers out there listening just chime in because I'm I'm going off what I've heard a lot of and read a little bit on so I may hit the points uh, I may get a little of the details incorrect, but the major gist of it is it's, it's a round that's really not a round much more because, you know, once they lowered the power factor, 38 Super stepped up and taken, taken care of. So the 9x25 has kind of gone to the wayside from what I can tell. Now the 9x25 is a 10mm brass case. It's been necked down to accept a 9mm bullet. And in this configuration right here, you can get the velocities that you need in order to make the uh, major power factor of the day. Um, but what it really does, for me anyway, it creates a kick butt fireball with not much recoil for a limited gun. Now, a limited gun in this caliber is kind of rare from what I understand because this caliber bullet was strictly or mainly uh, used or designed for the compensated guns with this round in a, in a compensated gun in the right powder and a comp on the end you could actually from what I'm told you could actually it would generate so much gas that the comp would work so well that the gun would actually nosedive on your shot so instead of recoiling like a normal gun does or an open gun just kinda wiggles or pushes backwards this gun here would nosedive from what I'm told uh, I've, I haven't had the pleasure of shooting an open gun in this caliber but <laughs> The limited gun was a pleasure to shoot. I, like I said, it was. It, I hadn't had this much fun since I shot the Desert Eagle 50. There's something about a big, powerful handgun like that going off. But let's take a look at the gun itself. It's you know the STI Eagle slide. This is very old, probably built in the mid 90s, I believe. And you know, look on the bottom. It's it says uh, Austin, Texas on there. STI has, has since moved to Georgetown, Texas. Now the slide is a 40 slide that uh, since it is a 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter is basically here's a, here's the 10 right or the uh, the 9 by 25 here and then I have a 40 cartridge. So they're they're basically the same head head size. So the the bolt face on here is a 10 millimeter or a 40 uh, slide, which means you can switch it out. So for this particular gun, switch the barrel out. That is. So for this particular gun we have a 40 caliber barrel. So if you don't want to shoot the 9x25 in this or you're, you know, you're not loading it or don't want to pay for the ammo, you can put this barrel here in here and, re and change the recoil spring with a lighter spring. This is a 19 pound recoil spring in here right now. It is incredibly stiff. It's really hard. I was very surprised when I picked it up at first and gave it a pull on the slide. It was, my gosh, it's like a, you had to be King Kong to rack the slide. But anyways, with a with a dual barrel like that, it's kind of cool that you could shoot either caliber. The trigger pull on it's about three pounds. To take it down, it's very similar to all the other limited guns that we use out there. I'm gonna lock lock the slide back like this and use my reverse barrel plug. There's a hole drilled in the in the uh, guide rod right there. So I'm gonna use my reverse retention barrel plug retention pin on that. If I can fit it on there. There we go. And now I can release the slide. It takes the tension off the spring. I'll line it up just like any other 1911 and push the slide release out and then remove it. 
So here's our frame, standard stuff, and then we pull out our recoil guide rod assembly here. Now, if you noticed there just a minute ago, you may have looked and saw some writing on the barrel that said 38 Super. This is a 38 Super barrel, but it's been cut to accept the 10 millimeter cartridge. So therefore we can just drop that straight in there. Now I do have a 38 Super bullet here. You can see the difference in these two. It's quite a bit of difference in the diameter. So this would definitely not shoot in there. Too much wiggle room. So on the bottom, it's been scored 9 by 25. But at first glance, you would think it's a 38 Super. It's a, like I said, I just can't get over how fun this gun was to shoot. So let's put it back together. So as well as this gun being able to switch out with a 40, mil, or 40 caliber barrel, you can also use the STI uh, 40 caliber magazines and that's pretty cool you know I switch between a 38 super and a 9 millimeter in one of my other guns that, that I have set up to do dual calibers and I have to change out a spacer and the mags the springs and a follower but these here you can just take them put them right in and they work no big deal at all it's really cool I'm, I'm real I was really excited to shoot this gun and even though it was incredibly loud and the fireball, I just cannot get over the fireball. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more competition shooting and gun reviews. Thanks.